In our first story, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Australian counterpart Prime Minister Scott Morrison met virtually for the second India-Australia summit for enhancing cooperation in a diverse range of sectors between the two countries. Indian and Australian Prime Ministers underlined their commitment to strengthening bilateral ties between the two countries in sectors such as trade, mobility, education and critical minerals. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed delight over setting up a mechanism for the annual summit between India and Australia. Speaking at an open session of the India-Australia virtual summit, PM Modi said that the mechanism will help prepare a structural system for regular review of our relations. Prime Minister Modi also thanked his Australian counterpart Scott Morrison for the initiative to return the ancient Indian artifacts which he inspected ahead of the virtual summit. As many as 29 antiques, primarily sculptures and paintings executed in a variety of materials have been repatriated to India. The artifacts belong to six broad categories on the themes of Shiva and his disciples, worshipping Shakti, Lord Vishnu and his forms, Jain tradition, portraits and decorative objects. Australian Prime Minister Morrison talked about the threat of growing change in the Indo-Pacific region in the wake of Russian aggression in Ukraine. In an apparent reference to China's aggressive posture in the region, the Australian Prime Minister said the call by Quad leaders to discuss Russia's unlawful invasion of Ukraine also gave the opportunity to discuss the implications and consequences of that terrible event for our own region in the Indo-Pacific and the caution and the issue that we face here. Prime Minister Modi, however, didn't refer to the Russian invasion and focused his remarks on the shared values and remarkable progress made by the two countries in various sectors. Prime Minister Modi stressed the importance of an early conclusion of a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement, saying it will be, quote, crucial for our economic relations, economic revival and economic security, end quote. In a bid to reduce dependence on China, India and Australia signed an MOU on critical minerals. Both nations agreed to boost cooperation in critical minerals in an attempt to ensure stability in the Indo-Pacific.